scheduled to have 10. We've only got seven missing. Clinton, Thane, Wayne, Livingston and Mark McDonald. It's a three wide already for the race lead. Ada Turin wanted to get racy on the bottom. He did a fantastic job on the inside in that last race at the moment. Up to second place underneath his fellow Albany counterpart, but the stewards have said that start was a no-go. We did think it was a little bit of an early jump and what we thought up in the tower was identical to what our chief steward Ben Hans has called as well. So we'll try again. Turin will be the one getting the finger pointed at him after that. So take number two. He wants to get racy. He does have the current WA number one in this field. And as well off that front row, the 181 of Barry Rose. Good to see him in a Holden Commodore. He's lifted up the spirits from the Little Sigma car owned by Nino Mendes. So we'll try and take number two as we get set again for heat race number four of our production stands. We're back to green. Stewart has said that was a lot better of a start that time around. As you can see, Turin a long way back in retrospect. He's the one being chased at the moment. As Devon Shire on the top side, so too as well. Our opening heat race winner of the production sedans, Jason Batchelor, the lap number one, goes to Barry Rose. Good start from the Holden Commodore. Winner at Narragin earlier on in the season in their second show for the race is for second place at the moment between Clark, Chawern and this three-way battle between Devonshire and Bachelor and the gentleman Carl Sayer, the current state champion. The Kachitana Beef car number one just rolling along the inside of the racetrack at the moment as Devonshire with panels hanging off the car. It would be a hard thing to see over the bum at the moment as it's just hanging by the wayward side and you're saying that with a reason. He's about to get crunched really was left with nowhere to go. There's the Demon Race car, fiberglass car number 13. Oh, Ryan, oh, sorry, Brad Mitchell was charging through. Devonshire will pull to the infield, an unfinisher in this one. But up the hill they come yet again. Your leader with four down and four to go. Is that of Rose taking the bigger car like a duck to water. Here's Rose for Michael Clark. The race is now for third place. All they get in touchy and handsy. Bachelor on the rank bumper of Ada Turun who hop, skips and jumps up the hill and allows Bachelor that inside look as heat race number one winner is right there. So to our West Australian champion. Here comes Carl Sayer to the top side. That sounds weird to say. Saying we're so used to saying going the inside way around us. Meanwhile out in front as well there's a dandy. Michael Clark had a big run to the inside. So fixated on third, fourth and fifth that we didn't watch Michael Clark close right in. And that is allowed to earn. So too Bachelor and Sayer, this three-way freight train fighting for the last spot on the podium. Now to be racing for the lead. Just like that with the Rose and Clark both running to the top shelf in turn number four. Turin is coming to play. Could he find himself in the bridesmaid position before this one is all said and done? Clark, he's got a car all out of shape. Oh, there's contact and there's a spin. Oh, Turin has gone around. The race still stays green. This is bad luck for Aida Turin. The check and flag is out. Barry Rose wins. Clark is second. Third is Bachelor. Then it's Sayer. Ryan Mitchell and Aida Turin. Oh, you have to call that bad luck out of anything. He'll be credited with sixth place in the end. But it's a long way back to where he was running in third place. So bad luck for Turin. Well, the win will go to Barry Rose in the end. A former production sedan state champion now. And the VS Commodore, you have to say Turin is going to have a bit of a word to our marshals here on the front straight. But Vaughan's got a very happy winner of Barry Rose, who will be having a chat to very shortly. Oh, there's a whole heap of cars here looking for some words. Michael Clark here as well. 
We'll have to come back and see if we've got some stories after this one. How about that Manji winner of production sedans heat number four is Barry Rose. Now Barry, front row start, sorry, second row start, got it done on the first lap there and looked pretty comfortable out front. Um, yeah, just still getting used to the car a bit as I haven't driven it much before but um, yeah it was definitely great to get some clean air and get a feel to the car a bit more and just need to say a huge thank you to uh, Nino and Chloe, Lauren, Mum and Dad for all their help today and a big shout out to Nino for letting me use the car and letting me have some fun. And uh, we're used to seeing you in a Sigma, are we going to see you in a Commodore a few more times this season or will we be going back to the Sigma later on? I guess we'll have to see how today goes first. <laughs> there you go, Manji Speedway. Winner of heat number four, it's Barry Rose.